Uh, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different video than I normally record because there's no coding or anything like that in, that in here. It's just me showing how I use AI tools. Specifically here I'm using uh, T3 Chat and it gives me access to the GPT-5 reasoning here. I don't necessarily have to use this one. I could probably use others. Um, but what I really want to show is a way that I take my ideas and generate documentation around them. And, and uh, as you can see here, some diagrams around them that allow me to have conversations with potential clients or also with my team to kind of help them understand what we're trying to build. Usually when we get, cl uh, when we get clients, they haven't kind of fleshed out all the requirements clearly. We just have an initial call with them. They kind of talk about what they want to build. And then we have to take the information from that meeting and put together a statement of work and provide an estimate. And in order to do that, we need to have a general idea of what we want to build. So what I found is that using these AI tools to kind of do some of that analysis for me makes my life easier. And so I'm just kind of sharing my approach with you. So at a high level um, here, I just took an idea from my sister. Uh, she's a part of a church group. And one of the things they do is they gather information from folks when they show up the first time and they want to send them postcards at the end. Right now it's a completely manual process. And um, I just use that as, as a simple example to kind of demonstrate the power of leveraging these tools. So even without a lot of detail here, I just kind of typed in what were the basic requirements. And I'm doing this just to show you, you really don't need to provide a lot of detail for this tool to kind of flesh it out for you. So I say, I need to create a solution for, spelled it wrong, my church group to capture information from guests and have a way for them to scan a QR code. So the idea is that you take your phone out, scan the QR code, takes you to a location, fill out the information, and we get it saved to a database. We can export mailing lists. We can send you an email and all of this stuff from there. So the ability to export the list, send postcards, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the important part. I tell it to create a product requirement document. And ERD, this is kind of from a more technical part of my team, which is the entity relationship diagram, which kind of shows how the database models are laid out. Create a table with field name and appropriate description for tables in a database. So one of the other things that we like to do is have a clear understanding of what are the business objects that need to be in the database to kind of support this application. And then I tell it to create a flow diagram, uh, which is just kind of how the application flows. And then to create a swim lane diagram to show flow from a technical perspective, how all the things you want to do in the app. Um, I'll continue to, I'll put a link in the description for more information on the flow diagram and more information on the swim lane diagram, but I'm also going to show you what got generated. So you just enter it all in and tell it to go. Uh, results will vary based on the tools that you're using. I'm pretty certain if I put this in ChatGPT, I'd get something similar out of it. So, you, you know, you can try that too. ChatGPT, Gemini, Cloud Code, whichever one that you use. And the whole idea really here is that you don't even really need to be that technical to do this. You just need to kind of understand the prompts and get the information out that you need. So it kind of cranked away and this is the result that it gave me. I'll also include a link to this whole document in the video so you can kind of see the output. I'll include the prompt and the link. Um, so it kind of gives a high level goal and overview, build a simple mobile friendly web app that access by QR code, submit their contacts, store submission database, provide admin dashboard to view, filter, export, blah, blah, blah. Like you can see all of the detail that it provided here for me kind of explains how the application should work, identifies key features. And so like I said, I can sit with my team, technical and non-technical, and kind of go through this document and get an understanding of what we're, what we're trying to build. Then it creates this entity relationship diagram, which kind of lays out all the tables and the objects in the database. And what it does is it, it, it has this, um, this format called mermaid that can be used to generate diagrams. And so here's the entity relationship diagram, which is the database layout. I'm not really gonna show you that one, but once again, I'll include all this code for you because I'm trying to keep this video relatively short. Then the other thing it did is it laid out, here's all the tables and all the fields. Usually what we do with this is we kind of export it to a uh, Excel spreadsheet and then have this table that we can work with our clients so we can understand, so we can say, hey, 
is this really all the data that you need for a guest? Is this really all the data that you need for email? You know, is this really all the address information? And it's just easier to have it in a spreadsheet or a document or, or some other form that's much more consumable for clients um, than to try to show them a database table and talk through issues that way. Also, it can be kept as a document that can be referred to when trying to understand what you're trying to implement. Uh, the other thing is all of this material can also be fed into your AI if you actually want to vibe code or do some other tool to generate code for you. That's why it's good to create this documentation. So we're going to scroll through all this. And then here you kind of see the layout or kind of the text output that you get for generating these mermaid diagrams. And so the swim lane diagram from a technical perspective is really the important one that, that I want to focus on in this app. And then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show you how that works. And then what I've done is I've copied this output here using this copy command and I pasted it into this tool that I use called Mermaid Live Editor. So you, so uh, let me slide this over so you can see it. So you can see here, here is the text that I pasted in. And then this is the diagram that got generated from it. And as you can see, there's a lot of information I want to change the size on you. Oh, let's go back. There's a lot of information here inside of this diagram that kind of shows you the flow of the application. And what happens is you can kind of walk through steps of the application. So for example, the guests with their browser, they open the QR code, you, uh, QR code URL, the web application front end kind of figures out what the event is. So this is saying it's making a call to the backend API which then calls to the database, which then returns the information to the API, which then returns it back to the front end. And then the front end generates a form. The user submits the form and it has the guest information and all of the other information that's laid at the table. The back, it's, uh, it's, making, this, it's making this call to the back end API, which then upserts or inserts the person into the database, creates the visit and then returns the success. If they opted into email, then the backend API sends a welcome email template. It goes to the email provider, accepts the message ID, and then it saves a record that we communicated to the database. And then we send back a thank you response. So that's just one of the flows, but you can see how this diagram kind of helped me walk through it in a non-technical way. And also, you can see if there's holes in the flow of your application or from using a process similar to this. So like I said, I wanted to keep this short. I will include the links to the tools that I use so that you can get a general idea of how, to, how you might want to try this yourself. And you know, leave your thoughts for me or what other tools that you're using, not necessarily non-technical tools, and what you're using AI to generate for you to kind of help you on your projects. Thanks, and I will talk to you later. Bye.